<clears throat> hey, how's it going? It is uh, 1015 here in Denver, Colorado in the a in the p.m. I just took a shower. It is so hot, so humid here. It's just really, it's like 20% more humid than it usually is, which is a big deal. So I'm having me some Heineken. I'm going to shave today with the <clears throat> Synergy. Not really so impressed with the soap. Soap is okay, but the uh, scent is just kind of like blah. I was just whipping it up. It kind of reminded me of dough. Got the Obelette aftershave also. And when I'm done with my shave, I'm going to have some of this. So this is a retest of a razor, and it's going to be my full wedge I showed the other day. This one is rehauled with a uh, in the same uh, four piece progression, but the uh, repetitions were much shorter. Uh, basically, killed edge on the one um, K, brought brought the bevel back. 15 strokes on the 5, the 10, and the j -nats. And so, let's see how it shaves. So, you know what I want to do? I want to do some of the menthol. Got to. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a trip. This weather and our garden is actually doing good for the first time ever because we just put in that uh, that irrigation system I showed on, on another video. <clears throat> Meant to bring some fishing lures up to show me pal Pierce. Uh, I want to thank you for showing me those knots. Helps out a lot. I like a couple of them actually. So, um, anyway, it's kind of a trip. This world has really changed a lot. You know, you, there's people in the family you can't even talk to, you can't even mention certain things without them going off and just like, ah, you know, because they're younger, you know, and, you know, they just haven't been through anything in their life. You know, and look at me, I've been through seriously about everything. Except getting eaten by a lion. But it's getting to a point where society is kind of disgusting because here we got all this violence going on. And the cops are just barely doing anything about it. So it's really a free-for-all. And, uh... You know, people's kids are being uh, brainwashed in schools and everything. And, uh, you know, no one's standing up for themselves, you know. And I guess for me, like, if I stood up for myself, if something ever happened, and I had to break out with some something, you know, I would be jailed for it. So, so you know, I'm a little bit bitter, I'm afraid. Mmm, smooth. Got about two days growth. Very smooth. Uh, seems to be cutting well. See, we live in a country where we have the Second Amendment. And the Second Amendment is in place, and they're trying to remove it. The Democrats are trying to remove it. Are in place because it's to safeguard the welfare of the we the people uh, against a tyrannical government. 
In other words, it's to make sure that our government is doing what we need them to do and not doing what these Democrats are doing right now. And everyone, no one, no one's doing anything about it. It's just, it's just mind blowing. You know, when Trump was in office, they harassed him unmercifully. He said something, they tweaked it out and they mocked him and they mocked him and they mocked him. They even mocked his little son. That's right. They mocked his own little son. They, 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 they almost, it's almost like a terrorizing of, it, of his little son. You know, and that's how the, that's how the press was. And no one did anything about it. Now, um, Biden said the other day, he says, when I first became a senator 186 years ago, what? <laughs> And no one said anything. About this edge is uh, really satiny smooth, buttery smooth, maybe. And I'm happy about it because. I'm happy about it because uh, this razor was uh, was uh, worked on by a friend, and I shaved with it before, and it shaved very, very well. And one time, um, one time I was going across like this, right under my nose, and I caught right there, and just bled like forever. I talked about it in the last video. But then it left me a bunch of weepers on one side of my face right here. And I said, what the fuck is that? And uh, I looked under my scope, didn't see anything. I don't know. I meant all feels good. So I have been trying to chomping at the bit wanting to get my smoker put together and I have my I have it underneath my patio and it's been so hot I've been um, finishing up a fence we have for a garden to keep the rabbits out and, uh, and so I think I just finished it up just need to make some cuts maybe make another small one uh, and then I'm gonna start working on the uh, on the smoker, but <clears throat> now I I know I know uh, Phoenix Artesian accoutrements, as everyone calls them, uh, has some sense that people really like. I have a couple good scents, but, you know, I'm not going to buy. I just don't buy anymore. I have, I have like four soaps coming from uh, Mama's Bear. And Mama's Bear has a couple of selections and sizes of pucks. One of them is a five ounce. You can get it for like 13 bucks, which is a good price. But I don't, just don't need five ounces of soap hanging around, you know. So I bought a uh, ounce and a half pucks for, of four different scents. And these are uh, glycerin pucks, and um, and you know they're not as expensive, but you know that's how I'm going these days because oh shit, that was a bump from last time I think. I just get bumps in my face, fucking me. Pisses me off. Um, to me, that's just the way to go. Anymore, because, you know, like this soap I'm using tonight, I use it probably three, maybe four times. I've had it six months.
All right, let me get this under control. All right. I went in another room to get something. Got there. Didn't know what I was going to get. Yeah. This, um, uh, so. All right, so I got to avoid that spot there. need to get a hold of Eric and uh, wrap with him. Every time I call, like, I don't have time to talk that long. Cause something's happening, but hopefully he's doing good. Hopefully he is doing good. It sounds like it. And I'm sure happy he had nurses visiting his house. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. One of them was a male nurse. I said, call him back and tell you, send you a chubby redhead. <laughs> This thing is shaping great. Feels great and moves over the skin great. Everything is great. Ah. Uh, so. I got some hickory. I'm going to smoke a big old pork butt and uh, some uh, chicken thighs. I'm going to smoke some sausage. I might make my own sausage for this occasion. And I'm going to smoke, uh, I think, a macaroni and cheese. What else was there? Oh, some hamburgers, too. And uh, going to... And Michelle for uh, to uh, take some <clears throat> to um, to our neighbor. Uh, That guy's got <clears throat> has some kind of lung problem going on. He's gonna getting ready to die. He's on oxygen. Fuck, guy still smokes too. And uh, he uh, and that woman doesn't cook. <laughs> I see the Domino's pizza up there, and I guess they eat uh, TV dinner type shit. I fuck that man. <laughs> you don't cook, you're gone. So I gotta say, well, just barely, a little bit. So we're going to uh, get her to watch the house while we're gone to uh, Wisconsin to see my wife, my wife's mom. Plus, we'll have my son, brother, son, son, stepson uh, stand to watch too. And uh, here's my tool if I need it. And uh, but you know, we just found out uh, today that my wife's mother. Has heart problems. She's like 80. She was in the hospital. So I'm telling Michelle, you think about it, man. I might need to get up there a lot earlier than what we thought. I like your mom. Uh, she, uh, she really raised Michelle right and everything. And Michelle's got a really good work ethic. And she's been working circles 
around me. You know, not just because my foot is jacked up. I don't move around so much, but she's like just nonstop. And, you know, I got to tell her, just take it easy, man. And I work for three hours out there in the yard and shit. You know, take it easy. I'm working out, come in inside and smoke a ball. <laughs> Man, that was a pretty outstanding shave. Oh yeah. Joseph knows his stuff. Alright. Happy. I feel good. I feel a little bit better with that whiskey in me. Weather is a trip, though. It is. It really is. It's changing things. I woke up today, and it was uh, just hot last night, you know. And I, have a, I have an air conditioner. We use a swamp cooler, which isn't good for the humidity. And I have a, a, I have an air window air conditioner that I need to put in, but I need to replace the windows first. And, you know, I just um, haven't been able to do that because of my foot. I need help doing certain things. And so I need to recruit some help. And uh, and so um, I just haven't done it. And uh, you know, it's really uh, something we need to do, or I need to do. Man, excellent shave, excellent shave. Here's to England. I heard an English toast one time, I can't remember. Was, oh, something like, uh, to keep the wolves off your heels and a woman in your bed, or something like that. <laughs> you are <a> bastard. <laughs> You're nothing but a holy bastard. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I can have fun. I am not, uh, oh. I don't know what this smells like, Oblet. feels good, alcohol based, um, uh, okay, after shave, it doesn't say anything about it. Anyway, I got right here really good. Uh, a little bit right there, maybe. Probably not the worst complaining about, but you know what? That razor got into that place a lot easier than a lot of my razors. So, bam. Okay, man. This guy sold his gentleman's edge. Remember, even if the humidity is almost 80% in your house, it's still a good day for a shave. Take care, man. Later.